Hola, Peeperinos! Welcome to another episode of the Disney Beans. I'm Cherry, uh, and Gooch is at work, and Josie is in there watching Barbie. Um, so, um, I wanted to come at you today with another boxy charm video. Uh, so this is um, my second box. Um, before I got into this one, I wanted to just kind of go over my thoughts uh, on the items that I received in the last box. Um, I did do a full look with this. I think I posted a picture on Instagram. I don't remember. Um, but I did use all of them in a look and I just wanted to uh, share my thoughts. First of all, the Nightingale eyeshadow palette by Pretty Vulgar. Uh, the shadows that I used in it were very, very good. I used um, this Break Free right here um, as, a, um, as a highlight and it did really, really well. I put Hide and Seek um, as a transition shade. Um, I also used Dark Side on my lid. Um, Silver Spoon um, in my crease or um, as a um, in my outer corner and I spy uh, in my crease um, overall the shadows blended beautifully uh, I was very impressed with this look um, given that there's you know that there are browns and like gunmetal and and darker colors um, definitely so oh and I used I um, I used a combination of after midnight and um, all nighter um, right here on my uh, right like a tight line right here um, the shadows blended beautifully um, so uh, this was a definite good thing uh, what I'm wearing on my lips today is the lipstick that I received it's the Lorac Pro uh, liquid lipstick in the color I can't remember the name of the color oh uh, berry red I love this the only other um, lippy like this that has been as comfortable and and as and worked as well as this is the Jeffree Stars that I've used uh, but this formula is fantastic it does not flake it does not dry even if I don't exfoliate my lips it do, it has done a great job and I love this color this color is so me um, but this is this was probably my favorite thing in the whole palette the Laura Geller um, Bake and Blush and Brighten in Tropical Hues was wonderful. Um, it blended with my contour well. It really did a good job making my cheek, you know, showing my cheeks off. And um, it went on smoothly and beautifully. Um, it is a little on the shiny side. And I normally don't like the shiny on my cheeks. Now my highlight's a different story. But this did a really good job. I thought it was, it's, a, it's a stunning color and it blends very well. Um, the Butter London uh, Stroke of Wow Roll-On Precision Liner. Um, this did a really good job giving me a wing. I always have an issue doing a wing liner, um, but it did a really good job giving me the wing, but it did not work to me. It just did not work as well on the rest of my lid, but I will go to this next time I want to do a wing. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it just did not do as well of a job on the rest of my on the rest of my my top lid as it did in giving me a wing. But it was still good. Um, and then we had the brushes by oh I can't remember their name and it's hard to read right now. Well, it was these brushes right here. Um, the tight line brush here. And um, the crease br blending brush did great, especially this crease blending brush. They did a really good job putting it on and not being patchy. This gave me a little bit of trouble because uh, it's supposed to be a lid, like an all-over lid brush. And uh, when I was putting on that darker shade, it just left it very patchy and I had to go to another brush. But I think from now on, I might use this just as like a, as like a highlight brush. I can use it as a, a inner corner and eyebrow um, I'm gonna try it and see how it works, but two out of the three were great. So that was a great box last month. So Let's see what we got this month. Like I said, I've broken the tape, but I have not looked inside to see what I got So let's see what I got Hello, Charmin <laughs> All right, so you always get the little thing saying what you got 
and tells you how much your your box is worth. Um, this also comes with a 10% off um, uh, for 10% off your next purchase purchase of it cosmetics. Josie, shh. Um, um, I've not been very impressed. I do have um, a couple of things with it cosmetics. I have the uh, bye bye foundation full coverage moisturizer. I want to try it when it's not like 500 degrees outside because it did not even with setting spray it did not stay on very well and it kind of caked up a little bit especially around my nose um, and the uh, oh where is it the bye bye under eye there's barely any product in this come on guys if you're gonna charge that much at least if you're and you're gonna have this little bit of a tube at least fill it up but I mean I had to literally squeeze down to like here to get any product out. I'm just saying, not hating, just stating. <laughs> so, all right. Um, and it looks like this month is Alter Ego. Ooh, sounds interesting. So, I am not looking. I'll, I will read after uh, what it says about the product after I see what I got. Ooh, <laughs> well. <laughs> I got a Nick Cosmetic Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I have heard some not so good things about this. Uh, of course, I hear a lot about the fi about fiber mascaras. Um, if it see, it says 96% said lashes look stretch. 96% saw dramatic volume and length. 96% um, saw plumper looking lashes and 100% saw fuller lash line. We're gonna put that to the test because my eyelashes are really sad. So we're gonna have to try this and see how it goes. Um, let's see what this says about it. Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara wraps your lash, wrap your lashes in lengthening volume boosting and ultra conditioning formula. The Elastic Stretch technology and the ultra fine, uh, ultra black tint make for the thickest and most defined lashes ever. Uh, the retail on this is $24. So we're gonna try it. Like I said, I'm a little uh, about IT Cosmetics. So this is what the tube looks like. I kinda like that little slender like tube. Let's see what the brush looks like. Cause sometimes I can make or break on my skin. Okay, so it's just a straight, straight up wand. So I will try it out in a look and hopefully not <laughs> get it all over me and, and we'll see how this goes. All right. So I, I've said before that um, uh, I'm not going to ever purchase Kat Von D again. Uh, it's just a personal preference. I've always loved Kat Von D's makeup, uh, but given her recent views on vaccination and just her just being very, in my eyes, very negative, I've just decided not to support her brand. I will continue to use what I have, but since I did not purchase this, I'm willing to give it a try. It is her um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color, oh, they gave me a brown in bow and arrow. I don't know about that. I just don't do well in brown. Um, I will give it a try. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. It's a nude to a brown, really. Um, I've had hit or miss with Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Like the first one I bought, I think was Unfortunately, under a dread, I still hate that color. I hate the name of that color, but it's a beautiful color. Um, subsequent ones that I bought, and I bought several of them. Some have been good. Some feather and bleed. Uh, some dry my lips out like nobody's business. But so that's what I really don't know about this. I really normally don't like doing a brown type lipstick. But I will try it, and I will, and I will let you know before next month's box. So, um, what it says on here about it is Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick 
enjoy a smooth, creamy, lightweight liquid lipstick that stays on all day long. It does stay all day long unless it's right here in the corner. <laughs> At least that's been my experience. The highly pigmented, vegan and cruelty-free formula coats your lips in just one swipe. Some of them do. Um, delivering the color you want and need. It's infused with vitamin E and sunflower seed oil, giving your lips a moisturizing comfort they deserve. Hit or miss on that. So, um, I will try out bow and arrow on something and I will let you know how it does. Fingers crossed. All right, so what else do I have in here? Oh, okay, so uh, this is from Havava. Uh, active Dead Sea Minerals, Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Oh, I might try that right now. My hands are dry as I'll get up. Um, it says water. Let's see if I can, if you can see that. Um, let's see what this says about it. I think I'm saying it, saying it right. Ahava uh, Mineral Hand Cream. Treat your hands to a light but luxuriously rich hand cream that helps keep skin and cuticles healthy and protected from the elements. Formulated for daily use, this hand cream is made with nutrient-rich Dead Sea water and smoothing witch hazel to elevate and lock in skin's natural moisture. Uh, the retail on this is ten dollars. Um, oh, and the the retail on the Kat Von D liquid lip is twenty dollars. So let's just go ahead and use that now. I'm curious about the smell. Mmm, nice. Nice creamy smell, like a you know, like a hand lotion. So, let's try, I'm just gonna try a little bit. <laughs> just kind of squirt it out there. All right. Oh, it feels nice. I'm usually a fan of L'Occitane, their hand and hand and foot creams. I'm usually a fan of those. Oh, this feels really nice. I don't like a lotion that feels really tacky on my skin. This feels nice and smooth. Of course, I didn't use a whole lot of it, but that feels nice and smooth. It makes my hands nice and soft. I like it. I'm gonna try this even more. Very nice. And I like discovering new brands like this. Like I've never heard of a, a Hava before, so I'm interested to try it. Oh, Riojio! Oh my God! Don't despair. Repair strength and moisture. Leave in mask. Oh my God. Okay, so I use the uh don't despair repair um uh mask the 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 mask that you wash off i love it it leaves my hair nice and smooth so this is the leave-in mask so i am definitely going to use this i love this brand uh, everything i've used in this brand i absolutely love um it says um the super moisturizing and strengthening leave-in conditioner provides repair benefits and beyond its unique formula of micro encapsulated argon oil and opt optimal blend of transformative nutrients that include vitam B vitamins, coconut oil, algae extract, and biotin helps promote healthier hair that will leave you feeling your very best. The retail on this is $16. So I can't wait to try this. Like I said, um, the don't despair repair hair mask that I use, that I that I've been using in the shower I absolutely love I love the way it makes you the texture of my hair when I use it it's fantastic I don't do the whole put it on put it on leave it in, leave it on for an hour and then get back in the shower I usually just put it on for my 10 minutes while then I'm in the shower so but this is going to be fantastic all right so the last item it looks like a palette of some sort oh okay it is from pure it's a face palette it is the midnight masquerade face palette let's see oh looks like we got some eyeshadows and some uh blush oh let's open this up well first of all let's read what it says pure the complexion authority midnight masquerade palette this 10 piece face palette will take any look from natural and innocent to sultry and mysterious. This limited edition palette is arranged with highly pigmented and buildable shades that blend effortlessly into the face and eyelid, 
for a look you you'll totally adore make a bold statement making a bold statement has never been easier with four shimmery face powders and six buttery eyeshadows that complement all skin tones and eye colors retail is $38 wow so so we have this let's take a look I like the packaging that's really pretty so let's open this up if we can hopefully maybe let's try How do I open? Oh, okay, it's got a little, it's got a little tape. Of course it does. Grr. I'm trying to be careful with it too, because I, I, I'm, I like to keep everything in, when it comes in a box, I like to keep it in the box. What's in the box? I don't know why, I just, I'm just that extra of a girl, I guess. <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on. It's being very stubborn. Sorry, guys. Which I guess is good. Tells you it's on good. Come on. Give me the precious. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up and let's take a look at this bad boy. Ooh, it's just, it's just a makeup baby. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's got the shiny gold, kind of like a like a masquerade mask. Well, midnight masquerade. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, okay, so it's got protection on both sides and a little mirror. Oh, how pretty. Okay. So you have, okay, so you have your blushes, I don't know, okay, they do have color names, this is Twilight, that looks almost like a highlighting powder, and then you have Hidden Secret, and here it looks like really pink, but it's almost like more, kind of a, not, not really terracotta, but kind of a corally more towards an orange in person and then you have the dark shade which i'm assuming you could probably use for um contour or bl uh, bronzer um enchantment and then oh this is a really pretty almost like a brick color um reveal okay and then you have the two sides with for your eyes if i can this okay here we go so all oh, that it, it's appearing pink on on camera but it's like a it's a it's a purple um so we have like a gray color like a silvery gray color called exposed and then this matte brown is called sneak a peek the shimmery blue color is called showtime the shimmery green color, this is really pretty, it's called Mask Off. Uh, this purpley shimmery color is called Disguise. And then this black, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look matte, but it doesn't look shimmery. It's kind of like an in-between, maybe a, I don't know what it's called, but it's called 12 AM. So I will definitely use this in a look, but I think I already read this. Okay, so all right, so that is what I got in my in this month's boxy charm. That's some really good stuff. I cannot wait to try out. Once again, we got the I'm putting it back in the box. Sorry, um, the pure midnight masquerade face palette. We got the Kat Von D everlasting lipstick in bow and arrow. The It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. And the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. 
So overall, a really good box and definitely worth more than the $21 I pay a month. Um, so, so yeah. So I will use these in a look and then I will let you guys know next month how they worked. Um, if I can remember to do it, I will post a picture of it on Instagram and, and we'll go from there. So for Josie and Gooch, I'm Cherry. We are the Disney Beams and as we like to end all of our videos with love, peace, rock, a little bit of pixie dust, and some lipstick. <laughs> Bye guys, we'll see you real soon.